Hey folks, welcome to another numeracy video. In this video, we're going to be looking at dividing whole numbers in context. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so question one, what we've got here is a community fundraising event raised 8,500 and the funds are distributed equally among seven local charities. So we've got 8,500 and that's divided by seven. Oof, we are going to get shift equals so we're actually getting $1,214 and 28 point five. This is, this is gonna be a contentious one, right? Cause I mean, rounding it up, I would put it as uh, 1,214.29. So $1,214 and 29 cents. But we do know that if you do 1,200, no, 1,214.29 times seven, what is it gonna give us? Well, somebody's going to have like a, maybe a couple of cents short, but this is just an appro approximate answer. So we're going to say approximately a little squiggly line that I did. That's just saying that approximately. So it's not exactly the same. Uh, looking at question number two, question number two, we've got $15,000 scholarship fund divided three students. Now that's a lot better because this one here, it's uh, we can actually split it quite nicely. So 15,000 divided by three, that is going to give us uh, $5,000 uh, for each scholarship that each student receives from the scholarship. Question three, we've got a grant of 20 million is allocated to 10 projects. How much funding does each project receive? So again, um, we could go 20 divided by 10, which is going to give me 2 million. Or you might have actually gone 20 million divided by 10, which would equal 2 million. Now, either answer is correct, folks. Um, just making sure that you answer it in the correct context. So if you did 20 divided by two, you'd put that as, you'd have to put it as two, and you have to write the word million in, in next to it. Um, otherwise, it's just $2. Um, so just be mindful of that when you do these types of questions as well. Question four, we've got a sports club that's raised 12,000 in charity auction. So we've got $12,000 and it's shared among six different youth teams. How much does each team receive? So we're gonna, each team is going to receive $2,000. And again, nothing wrong with using a calculator if you are not sure. So we're just gonna go in 12,000 divided by six, that's $2,000 there. Okay, looking at question number five, we've got a prize money for the art competition is 25,000 and it's divided amongst five winning artists. So 25,000 divided by five, that's gonna be $5,000 each for each artist. There we go. So uh, this is just a variety of questions that you might get asked for dividing numbers in context. All right, folks, that is basically it for this video. As always, don't forget to like this video, share this video, and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Now, there should be a couple of playlists popping up here and here. Great material for revision, and as always, thank you for watching.